think is it already crazy. recording? Try not to fart too, too, too much. Not too much. You decide not to fart too loudly. Okay. Once upon a time. How did you guess that? Ah, all stories about once upon a time. Okay. <clears throat> The princess and the carpenter. Once upon a time, in a country far, far away, there lived a beautiful princess. Hello. <laughs> Hi. She was a busy little princess and worked hard all day long. It's hard work, is it? <laughs> that seems like fun. And mostly she was a happy princess. But at night, tucked up in her bed, she dreamed of only one thing. Horses! The funny thing was, though, that in all that land, there were no horses. So, she climbed the mountains, and she crossed the sea, <laughs> and she crossed the sea, and she climbed the mountains. And eventually, <coughs> she came to a new land, where she found a ladder. Hmm, she thought. Perhaps at the top of this ladder I shall find what I'm looking for. Meanwhile, not so very far away, a poor carpenter was hard at work mending a roof. He was very lucky because he had two small boys, but he, he had no money and not much hair and his car had only three wheels. <laughs> Ho hum, thought the poor carpenter. <coughs> Not much happens to me anymore. Perhaps there will be a lucky rainbow at the top of this ladder. So the carpenter climbed up the ladder, mending the roof, and the princess climbed up the ladder looking for a horse. Imagine their surprise when they reached the top and what they saw was each other. <laughs> Perhaps the carpenter was blinded by a rainbow, and perhaps the princess was dizzy from the height. But whatever the reason, they were happy to see each other, and together they finished mending the roof. They must have been very tired, because after that, they went to bed for a long time. Years went by, and mostly they were happy, but something troubled both of them. Then, one rainy night, the poor carpenter sat up in bed shook the rain from his head and said, I know what will make our lives even better. A horse? asked the princess. No, a house, said the carpenter. And a horse, said the princess. So, that was decided, and soon they had a fine big horse for the princess. But the carpenter was still troubled. A house is much bigger than a horse, he said. We will need help building a house. Those boys of yours are fine young men now, and they will help, said the princess. And the horse will help. And so will the pig and the dog. Not enough, said the carpenter. Let's ask all the best people in the world. So they did. And the next day, all the best people in the world came to help. And in no time at all, a fine, big house was built. <laughs> and... <laughs> and the princess and the carpenter and the horse and the pigs and the dog all lived happily together in the big house and many people came to visit yeah. then, then one day a very strange couple <coughs> came to stay they were a good looking pair but they were disagreeable cantankerous argumentative and rude, and they complained about absolutely everything. They chased the dogs, they ate the shoes, they pulled up the flowers, and they frightened the postman. But they didn't seem to have anywhere else to go, and they seemed to think this was their home too. So what could the princess and the carpenter do? Only make room for them too. And so, that's the story of the princess and the carpenter and the house they made with grass on top and horses never far away. And of course, they all lived happily ever after, even though they always had to step lively and mind their ankles. The end. <laughs> Again! <laughs>